Hi Thim, welcome back. I'll be guiding you on how to use your trial account to manage your corporate MFI thrift collection um, organization effectively with Wired Banking Africa. Okay, to get started, once you register, I believe everything should be blank on zero. So your balance should be zero, your USSD should be zero, and your WhatsApp, uh, your SMS, um, XMS unit should be on 200, which should be a default free XMS unit given to you to test run. Okay, to get started, to so set up your account to enable you to uh, carry out all your transactions for the 24 hour given. All you need to do is to navigate to your, your menu, then scroll down to general settings. Okay, then you click on company setup. So it's very important for you to cross check and fix some few things before you get started using the platform so as to um, and then you have effective um, activities. Okay, um, the the next step is to look at your your company name and please avoid the symbol of and or right, the symbols any symbol of and on your name ensure you remove it instead replace it with and all right. So this is your um your short name which is referred to your sender ID which will leave the platform. To, across your customers xms alert so it's advisable for you to make it the maximum character of eight and should be on one word okay all right so the next step it's um okay ignore all ignore keep ignoring keep ignoring keep ignoring all right so we have here maximum number of transfer it's important you place it on zero for 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 text purpose you place it on zero for text purpose, all right? You ensure that every other thing is placed on zero, okay? So we have um, XMS type. You ensure that it's on XMS type two, okay? All right, so every other thing can be same. So remember what we change, all, all the other can be on zero, zero, zero. XMS should be on XMS type two. And your sender ID, which is a short name, should not be greater or more than eight characters all right all that is done you hit on update uh, company setup you scroll up you should see the response whether it's successful or fail if any of this is not properly done it to be failed all right to get uh, to continue from here the next step or the next thing to do is to navigate to your general setting once more at this time you are click you are creating products okay at this time you are creating savings product Okay, so savings product is more of like since the banks has um, uh, savings, corporate, business account. So you can decide to name, you can decide to name um, your company product by your name, by yourself. Okay, so you can decide to say it's a savings account. All right, you can decide to say it's, it's um, daily savings. So whichever name you want to give it, this is your product, all right? But we give you an option, right, to choose. If one's used uh, as banking, um, um, as banking structure, you can just say, okay, um, um, savings, current business account. Now some banks are even having issues and so on. So we can create as many products. So that's the excellence of this. So it's important we create this, all right? So uh, I think I created one. So I will just create e E, um, daily savings, all right? So the XMS should be on yes. So right now we have minimum withdrawal. So the persons or the customer on this category, all right? Just like um, some of the accounts you open, you must leave at least 1,000 Naira on the account. You, you will not have access to withdraw all the money. Why some banks, you have access to withdraw all your money, okay, on the account. So you have your options there okay if you want the customer to withdraw all their money with you all you need to do is to place it on zero if you want to leave the minimum of 500 at least in their account after every transaction if you don't want to go it's you place it all right so we have frequency of interest you want to give this customers interest the customer that register on this product because every um every, every product you can create as many products so every customer must not be on one product but the customers that are on this particular product you want to give them interest so just like uh, as you are saving 
as you're saving your bank, if you deposit, let's say, like 1 million and you do not withdraw, at the end of the month, you should have at least interest of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 1% from your bank, all right? So likewise here, you have an option to give your customer interest automatically, all right? So that is, if they are saving their money for the period of one month, let's say, for example, if you select one month and they did not withdraw, they did not default, they did not withdraw, but rather they, are, they keep on depositing, the system will give them interest. But if they are, they are depositing, even if 29, they want they remaining and they withdraw, it automatically cancels. All right, so that, that is the logic. So do you want to give them interest? If yes, okay, you select the duration before you give them. Is it if, if you if you say for one month without draw, if you say for three months, if you say for eight and for nine months, if you say for one year, so you can just select whichever one that works for you, okay? So I prefer monthly, okay? All right, so I will now say, okay, all the persons that have saved, you can, you can choose to put 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, okay? But I'll just go ahead and place 1%, all right? interest that you that the system will give to them or credit into their wallet for saving or for not touching their money or being faithful in continuation in saving they just click on set give you a few times so a savings product has been added which is e all right so the next step it's to register start registering your customer so you can create as many products which you want to create without a restriction as many like you see i have a lot of products here so you can create even 100 without a restriction okay but it's advisable to have at least three or four product all right so the next step is to now register your customer now to register all your customers what do you need to do let's click on add customers so we have three methods of of um registrations all right we have registration of virtual accounts what's virtual account virtual account is more of like a real-time bank account once you register customers on that virtual account, the customers are able to uh, transfer money from their commercial bank. So it simply means that if they already have a an account with GT Bank and they want to save with you because they cannot be going to GT Bank to save with you, okay? And they just want a private savings which they easily can have access to, all right? So what I need to do is to open for a virtual account which enable them to transfer from their GT into their cooperative or into their thrift account with you all right so we have quick accounts so the quick account simply allow you to register in-house account number if you do not want it to be transferring money from their other bank or to be accepting money from other people into the into their platform with you so all the options are made available you want them to transfer money you don't want them to transfer money the both options are made available okay to credit on to get started all you need to do i would just i would prefer registering the customers with a quick the quick customer because I do not want them to transfer money, okay? But you can decide if you want them to transfer money, you can click on virtual accounts. For more details, you can simply ask uh, the administrator or any support and you'll be guided on how to um, go about it. Okay. Hold on, I think the network is a bit down, which will be revived shortly. Okay, um, to continue from here, all right, so it's actually a quick customer. So the on the quick customer, what's the next step? The next step is to enter the customer's full name. Uh, enter the customer's full name. Okay, so you enter male or female, put in the phone number that we used to receive XMS alert. Go ahead and put in the address. So you can actually put uh, your the customer real time address, but the, ensure the phone number do not start with plus, it should start with uh, 090080 and so on. So, next, okay, so this place is very crucial. Please pay, give me a few uh, minutes, okay, very, very important, all right, because if you miss that here, you may likely need to register the customer account afresh. So, it's very important you give it attention to avoid one error that may likely uh, cause you to re register the customer all over again, all right. You see, we have account type so it's very important for you to select savings as the accountant please allow allow the saving the saving is to load personal savings type once you select savings type the system will automatically pop out personal savings type so in on the personal savings type that's where all the products you register in the system or you created in the system will display like this is the last product I created, so I can easily switch 
or click on them so if you do not pay this attention sometimes if you have network issues this may likely not display and you and you may like uh, uh, you, you might ignore it and proceed the account may likely start having issues because there's no any savings product okay so it's, it's important for you to once it's important once you click on savings uh account types you click on savings it's important you wait for personal savings that to display for, so you can select a product you can select whatever product all right so it's uh, the next step is for you to select a date which is referred to date of birth the answer of the date of birth is to send an xms um estimate wishes to the customer like a happy birthday messages to the customer automatically on their birthday when it's due okay so we have branch management the branch management simply allow you to manage multiple branches so you can have branch in different places so right now while registering the customer which of the branches will you, want, will you like to assign the customers to so you can easily switch or select the branch you likely want to assign the customers to all right so we do have account officer so once you select a branch, the account, um, all the staffs on the on that particular account will be displayed. So you can assign a account officer for the customers. All right. So the next step is um, send XMS. So when to send welcome XMS is totally optional. The total welcome XMS is to welcome them to your organization and also to give them their account number for onboarding. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and open. Let's give a few minutes, few seconds rather, it should open. Okay, so that has been done. Okay, so the next step after you've opened the account is to make deposit and withdrawal because that's the main access of opening an account. All right, so you just hit on the icon of menu, then click on savings management. Please remember, then click on or deposit and withdraw under savings management the first account you see there is the account that you just registered except you have branches and they have um queues of uh of account opening that you may likely need to copy the account number or trace the account but it's highly advisable to trace um a customer by by um okay this is a welcome message the welcome message for the account I just created now. It's highly advisable to uh to fetch accounts by account number or phone number because if you fetch by name, just like as we have we have other persons that may likely have same name, but but these are different persons, so it's highly advisable to to search or to get account by account number or phone number, okay. But highly recommended account number. So anyone that want to make deposit, ensure you get their account number. All right. All right. For safety purpose, so to avoid crediting and the wrong person. All right. So um, once you click on savings product, um, savings product, you click on deposit and withdrawal. It brings you here. Okay. So you can easily filter. You can easily filter um the accounts. Okay. You can easily filter accounts. You can easily filter. Hold on. Don't give you a few minutes. It's trying to filter other related accounts. So, hold on one second. Okay. All right. So, um, I have two accounts with same phone number. So I'm I was I'm trying to get the account by the phone number. Okay, so you see, um, this is the account I just created the first one, which is zero. So I need to do is to click on deposit. Okay, so once you click on deposit, it's very important for you to take note of these two buttons, um, on XMS and on WhatsApp. Okay, it's very important for you to take note of these uh functionalities. On new account, they are always green. So all you need to do is to tap on the on each and give it a few seconds. It should turn to red, okay? Once it turns to red, it's permanently red. So even if you close the tab, it's permanently red, okay? So it's highly advisable for it to be red. The, the, the reason why it should be red because uh, if it's green, the customer will not be able to receive XMS alert. And also as this is um green, the, the customer will not be able to receive WhatsApp alert. So I'd rather uh, tip on the boat, 
or click on the booth for them to turn red booth turn red um okay few seconds please okay let's proceed i think that should be network issues delaying that okay um so i'll just enter the amount after that so you don't need to be on um, clicking on this all the time it's something you just click on once like i said even if you close the tab refresh log out and log in the um no deposit the 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 function still remain on all right so you can just easily ask the customer how much you want to do collect the money probably 300 per se then um enter the the depositor's name select the product then go ahead enter description is if available then you post which is top up okay so it does give you a few minutes it's the system generate um a receipt for you at this time the customer is also as expected to receive xms alert for the amount being credited so right now on the receipt you see the the credited amount and the credited balance all right so the account was new no and no phone was there so i created 300 and the balance was 300 that's how you can actually use to manage your savings accounts thank you